So we have finished our introduction to normal distribution. Let's see how to use Excel to do some related calculations. So for example here, we have a graph that depicts those normal curves or normal PDF values. So for example, this one, we have this uh, blue uh, curve. The blue curve is a normal distribution value uh, PDF with mean 10 and the standard deviation 2. Okay, let's try to see how to get PDF values from Excel. And let's see whether we may verify whether these values are right or wrong. So we can see that uh, when we want to do this, then we're talking about possible values from 0 to 20. Okay, so how about this? I'm going to get some values from 0 to 20. And I'm going to get a set of values, something like this. Mm, how about this? I'm going to just use 1 as the interval. Okay, so if I do so, I roughly can get um, 20, 21 values. Okay, and then they are just integer values between 0 and 20. For each value, I want to use this function, norm.dist. I want to ask myself, what's the PDF value, what's the probability density for 0 when it is with respect to a normal random variable with mean 10, standard deviation 2, and now let's focus on the last argument. In this argument, cumulative means if you want to get the cumulative distribution function, you want to get the CDF, then put 1 here. That means you are talking about cumulative distribution function. Or if you put 0, that means you want to talk about 0 means false. Okay, And that means you want to get a probability function probability mass function. Here it put mass, but anyway, you know it just means density. Okay, so I'm going to put 0 here, and that gives me a very small value. Anyway, I'm going to double click and get some values that like this. Uh, no, 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 wait a moment. I, no, I don't like scientific. So I'm going to put my values back. Okay, so anyway, let's see for example 8. For 8, I get about 0 0.12. For 8, roughly 8 is here, I get to this blue curve, I get about 0 0.15, 0 0.15, 0 0.12. Okay, for 9, 9 is roughly here, I get almost 0 0.19. Oh, somewhat makes sense. Okay, so what I may do is that now I may just draw a line chart from it line choice here we can see a curve uh, not very beautiful but roughly it is the same as the curve that we may observe from this um, pdf okay we can see that this blue curve the top is around 0 0.2 which locates around 10 so here we can also see the top is around 0 0.2 this is 11 and that's because we did not decorate our um, line chart to make it start from zero. If we do that, then basically we can um, fix that issue. Okay, we can see indeed we get 10 to get the highest value, highest PDF value. So of course, if we want, we may make it um, more smooth like this. So maybe I want to just um, use 0 0.1 as the uh, interval. So that means I need to do a lot of um, function invocations here. And then I want to scroll down, down to very far. Okay, uh, should be enough. <coughs> So now I want to reselect my range here. I want to get to, for example, here, okay, 26. And if I do so, I'm going to see a very smooth curve here. And it just looks like a beautiful bell shape. 
and we can also see that wow indeed it is just almost identical to the curve that we observed from the slides so how about we get the green one green one is also easy to get all we need to do is to change the standard deviation to 1.5 so let's try it here everything is with about 2 so let me change it to 1.5 and then I want to remove everything we get another curve that is just uh, tighter in some sense and the peak is about 0 0.26 0 0.26 right so lastly I want to get the blue uh, the red one 12 and 1 so let me try it 12 and 1 we can see that it's going to shift to the right and the top is about 0 0.4 top is about 0 0.4 makes sense what's more important is that given a normal random variable and given a cutoff value we need to be able to calculate the cumulative probabilities up to that cutoff value or starting from that cutoff value and move to infinity we need to either get the left tail probability or the right tail probability anyway we need to deal with that cumulative probability so how to do that basically we just need to use again that NORM DIST function and all we need to do now is to change from PDF to CDF so very quickly let's see how to do it for example here I have a normal random variable between, uh, whose mean is 25 and the standard deviation is 5 okay how about we start from a cutoff value that is 15 so now we know how to do this we have norm.dist I want to check up to 15 what's my values if my mean is 25 standard deviation is 5 and now I want to talk about cumulative okay cumulative then I get about 2.2 2.2 percent uh, and we can see that indeed this is roughly 2.2 percent because here I have two parts I have two parts and then for each part I get about 2.5 percent according to this rough value and now we see it's actually 2.2 percent or 2.3 percent so one thing to keep in mind is this one here talks about left tail probabilities if you want to get right tail probabilities you use one to subtract this left tail probability so for example here if I want to calculate the probability for X to be greater than 35 how to do that I put 35 here and then I get some value this is the probability for your X to be less than or equal to 35 so if I want to get the value for the x to be greater than or equal to 35 I should do 1 minus that uh, 1 minus this one okay it's again 2.3 percent so that's how we may get this particular outcome in Excel we it's good if we understand the theory understand PDF CDF whatever but if we don't uh, at least we know how to use Excel or other software to calculate those left tail or right tail probabilities from uh, for normal distribution here we also have some kind of uh, standardization thing so let me quickly do one exercise here I have X uh, let me write it down I have a random variable X and its mu is about 100 and its standard deviation or let me call it Sigma is 20 okay for this particular X I want to ask what's the probability for X to be greater than or equal to 140 what's the probability for X to be greater than or equal to 140 and I hope you know how to do it so an RM DIST so my X is 140 mean is here standard deviation is here and in any case I'm going to put one here because this is talking about greater than or equal to so I'm going to use 1 minus that left tail probability that's 0 
uh, percent and 0 0.22 so I have another thing I have y y here for y is 90 and 10 and then this is asking us to talk about y cut off 1 110 so what's the probability for y to be greater than or equal to 110 well nrm dot dist and then 110 I have 90 here I have 10 here I have 1 again all I need to do is to use 1 to subtract that I get exactly the same value and here we may also double check what's the probability for your z for your standard normal variable to be greater than or equal to 2 in this case there are two ways so either you put 1 here and 0 here and then you ask yourself what's the probability for z to be greater than or equal to 2 1 minus an ORM dot dist we have 2 as the cutoff value 1 here 0 there cumulative 1 uh, I'm sorry so where I did wrong mm, oh sorry it should be mu 0 and sigma 1 okay so you can see they are the same makes sense and also because standard normal is so uh, important so Excel even has a function that is specific for standard normal nrm dot s dot dist we can simply enter a z value and then say we want cumulative of course and then again we get that CDF directly so this is how we may use Excel to do some calculations with PDF and the CDF for normal random variables.